starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Well, Joe, that mongrel you can't catch let my sheep out last night again and scattered them for a mile and a half. He's gotten worse than ever. You haven't been able to trap him, so quit wasting time and shoot him. Away to shake. That sounds pretty drastic, even for a dog thief. There's no need to shoot the dog, Len. I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. Sure, sure. And while you play trick or treat with that mutt, we suffer. It's time you got rid of him once and for all. Now look, Joe, if you're not gonna do something about this, we will. go gunning for him? I'll probably get him. I could have shot that dog a hundred times. He's easy to spot. My job is to catch him. I'm not gonna kill that dog unless he's a menace. So far, he's nothing but a nuisance. Tranquilizer pills, Timmy. What kind of lizers? Tranquilizer. See, it's a pill that relaxes you, makes you forget your fears. Now, if I can get the dog to swallow a couple of these, I'll be able to walk right up to him and put a collar on him. Won't those pills hurt the dog? 
course not. Timmy, these are the same kind of pills that people take. It just makes you, well, it relieves you of your tensions, that's all. What are tensions? Well, Timmy, I figure that somebody gave that dog a pretty bad time once. So now when he sees people, he gets nervous and suspicious. Those are tensions. Yeah, I guess that does it. What are you gonna do with the meat now? Well, I'm gonna put it all along the trail that the dog uses. Then when he swallows the meat, he's gonna swallow the pills too, and I'll have them. Poor dog. Now, what do you mean, poor dog? You realize all the trouble he's caused around here? I didn't think of that. Ah. Well, Timmy, thank your mother for the use of the meat grinder, huh? When you go to get him, may I go along? Sure, if you folks say it's okay. Maverick is a dog that doesn't belong to anybody, a loner. Come on. Ah, oh, here's the spot. The bait's gone. Now we got him. Look, Mr. Smith. the tranquilizer pills. There's another one. Well, how about that? Well, there's the last one. Find the pill, Lassie. As the last one. Maverick's done it again. What are you barking for? How do you like that? She's trying to protect that mutt. Lassie, <laughs> move. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get Paul. Off, 
finish this business right now. Now hold on, Mel. That dog is helpless. What's the rush? That beast has been making our lives miserable for a month. Now get Lassie out of the way. Look, let's wait for Joe Smith. I told Ruth to call him and send him up here. Look, we're not going to wait around for Joe Smith to show up. We've wasted enough time already. Come on. Give me five more minutes. Timmy, go back to the trail and wait for Joe and send him up here. OK, Dad. Timmy. Hi. Follow me and I'll show you where they are. Okay. Understand you got that dog. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> Gonna be a job getting him out of there. Getting him out? We're gonna shoot him right where he is. Nobody's gonna shoot that dog until we're sure we can't save him. What's the matter with you, Joe Smith, huh? That's the month that's been making you look like an amateur. And now you're talking about getting him out? Down there is a trapped and helpless dog. You guys like to kick something around when it's down? You intend to make an effort to get that mongrel out of that hole? Why? Because he's alive? Because it's my job? Because I don't think you guys are as cruel as you let on. You're just sore. Joe, we're wasting time. Let's get busy. Yeah. Hey, Paul, I got a length of rope in my truck. You want to get it for me? Oh, sure. Well, there's no use you fellas waiting around. Why don't you go home? Oh, I'll stick around. If you find out you can't get him out, then we'll have to shoot him. Yeah. Maybe I can do it. We can try. Oh, I don't know, Timmy. I'm not afraid. Now, look, Timmy, we let you down in there. You've got to be very careful. Now, look, Timmy, when you get down there, I'm going to throw my coat down with it and the rope. See if you can make a sling so we can lift the dog out, huh? OK, now. Easy now. You want to hold that? Oh. There we go. Timmy. Are you all right? I'm home. But his wedge is too tight to get the coat around him. Coming up. to call it quits? Not yet. We still got a chance. I think you're licked. Well, we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna need a block and tackle to get that top rock off of him. Timmy, hurry back to the house and tell Mother to get our block and tackle and put it in the pickup and bring it back here. Okay, Dad. Maybe we're 
we're going at this all wrong. What do you mean? Well, maybe we can get to him from down below. Well, how are you going to tunnel through solid rock, huh? I'm not. But there might be an opening that leads to the base of this crevice. We could get to him that way. Well, it's worth a try. Let's all spread out. See if we can find any kind of fault that looks like it might lead in this direction. We haven't got time, it'll only be a couple hours till dark. They'll get him out, won't they? Well, they're trying with all their might. down to solid rock. It's almost sundown. Well, what now? Which of you two is the best shot? Well, you are, Joe. I'll lend you my rifle. Keep Timmy here. Sure looks like the right direction. Runs right to the crevice, but it narrows down to an awful thin opening. Uh, only one way this would work. How's that? Dynamite. If we could get the charge far enough in there, we might be able to blow enough of the rubble out to free the dog. Yeah, but we could also blow the dog to pieces, too. That's a chance I'm afraid we're gonna have to take. Who's got dynamite? I have. That's why I thought of it. Good, go get it. Right. Can I use your truck? Yeah, sure. We'll work things out here.
he's all right. Well, that's your dog. You still want to shoot him? What, after working like a dog all day to save him? <laughs> you know, I don't feel near as bloodthirsty as I did this morning. Matter of fact, I think I'll take him home and keep him myself. Oh, no, you don't. I've always wanted a dog that could outsmart me. Looks like I've got him. You saved him, Lassie. And now he won't have to be a maverick anymore. Thank you.